Well, they do actually have Namor, once again. You know, but he sold out on Amazon, so. And Nikia. And oh my god. So right here at this moment, I could stop. I found him. I mean, this is all I've been trying to hunt. This whole entire this whole entire video is about this figure. Right here. The invincible Iron Man figure. I finally freaking found him. But this was quite a journey. It took about a week. <laughs> way too many Walgreens. Way too many GameStops. But it was worth it. The thrill of the hunt, you know? That's that feeling. That's that feeling you get. And that's that feeling I love getting. So through even through all the disappointment, all the failures, <laughs> walking into GameStops and there just being none whatsoever for this moment that moment yeah let's take you back to the beginning first though flashback there it is <laughs> man both these covers are super dope so of course I'm grabbing both. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, here's the signal kid. See, I don't know how I feel about signal, man. I don't know how I feel about signal when we still don't have Kiss Andrew Kane. Not feeling it. But uh, yeah, Batman White Knight number four. Cue the music. Listen. What's going on, guys? My name is Toy Hunter. If you're new to this channel, I do toy hunts, unboxing. Occasional comic book TV and movie review. Speaking of comic book TV and movie reviews, you can catch those here at the Mini Face Pod. So subscribe there and subscribe here. And hit that bell so that way you get notified every time I drop a brand new video. The Mini Face Podcast coming soon. So as you can see, I'm in Tate's again. Had to get Batman White Knight number four. I got that as you saw in the opening. I also wanted to get some essential readings for Black Panther. I wanted to grab Shiri's Run, the physical copy. I have it digitally on Comixology. But I wanted to get the physical copy, six issues, it's like 16 bucks in a graphic novel. So I want to be able to find that Black Panther, The Deadliest Species, excellent run, highly recommend it. So I'm going to search that out, probably look around Tate's and see what else I have here. And then after that, on the hunt for that invincible mm -hmm. Iron Man. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Wish me luck, shall we? See you on the hunt. So here we are, I have located the Black Panther section. It's not big. But it is there. <laughs> it is there. Definitely, definitely come get some reading. And I have located the book I was looking for The Deadliest of the Species Black Panther, Sherry. Especially with that uh, two pack coming out with Claw. I'm going to hunt that down today too, as well. I got a Toys R Us and see if it's in there. But uh, yeah, love this book. Got it digitally. Now I got it physically. Here's the Blue Beetle and Booster Gold two pack. I've actually never seen it in person. They actually look really cool. I like the uh, I like the paint job on them. I like that kind of metallic paint look on them. They look really cool. I don't know. That's intriguing. And I like the uh, I want to count their eyes as glasses. <laughs> the goggles and the uh, and the visor. That counts. That counts. You know I love my pops with glasses. So uh, yeah, I like the way the orange looks. This is a really nice two pack, man. And yeah, if I had all the money in the world, the Batman Animated Series Batwing, $175. Wowzers. That thing is amazing. They don't have any of them. Well, they had them. Damn it. Killmonger. The rest are just Fantastic Four back there. Vultures. Yeah. Nothing new on the pop in. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> they had him. All right. I finally see a Nakia. Not Black Panther, but that's it. Uh, pops? Nah. They do have another section, though. Let's check that out. Uh, 
Uh, nope, just the old stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> Black Panther. Black Panther. Eric Killmonger. Medusa. Damn it. Please don't fall. Uh, bullseye. That is no, it's Thor. Own son pops look regular. Killmonger, Black Panther, Medusa. Oh yeah, really. <laughs> Only Black Panther and Nakia. <laughs> Man, I got a whole section though. So that's cool. And, nope, no Black Panthers on this side. Oh boy. And no two pack either. No uh, Sherry. No Sherry and Claw, as far as I can see. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. These are all egos, yeah. I still need you to drop. It's a drop! The very next evening. Why is Legends? That's all I got. It's a back in black. Yeah, I was never really too interested in that. Kind of have the Deadpool I want. Plus, we got like two waves of Deadpool coming out, so yeah. And. Whereas Pops, they got starters everywhere. I couldn't find them for nothing. Now starters are just sitting on the shelf. But uh, yeah, Pops are regular. Man, still no Iron Man. <sighs> man. This has not been a fruitful hunt. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. Pops. What? Mace Windu in the wild? That's something. And nothing. They got old stuff. They got really old stuff. Nothing's hiding back there. No. It's more door. Yeah. Cool areas. Special on the pops. Nope. Same old, same old. Okay, wow. Old, old, old Medusa. Some vegetarians. Oh, it's a duel. Damn, is that all the legends they have? Yikes. But only Black Panther and Killmonger. Man. And Nikia. And Medusa. Another Medusa. Oh, man. Told you. He's going to be the Deadpool. So we got Spider Man. <laughs> Home suit. Oh, boy. No Black Panthers whatsoever. Pops go. Nothing. Nothing new. Nothing new. Another Walgreens. Looks like another fail. Man, Shatterstar. It's Marvel. But, oh! Black Bolt. I want you, just don't need you right now. Name more. And Black Panther. So they had him as well, and guess who's gone? The Invincible Iron Man. Pops are usual. And they don't look like they got them. How their Rangers are looking. 
Got the white. Oh, they do have Namor. Man. But that looks like it. And, man. Namor. Namor. T'Challa. Eric Killmonger. The deuces. Whirlwind. Uh, stop. Yeah, tons of Medusas back there. Just keep missing them. Like that close. Keep missing them like inches. Pops. Yeah. Pops. <laughs> the pops are the pops. Uh, this one tends to have a second section. So let's, uh, let's check it out. See if our luck fares any better, and that looks like a negative. Yeah, that's a total negative. Yeah, this is where they just decided to throw all the old ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even hiding back here. Man. <sighs> Tony, Tony, Tony. And Last walk into the night. And the fail. <laughs> this hunt was the ultimate fail. Oh boy. This is bad. <laughs> Yikes. Pops. No. Man, there you go. Black Bolt again. Another Black Bolt. Another Black Panther. Anything behind that? No. The Nokia. And Eric Killmonger. Lucky. Yep. <laughs> no Iron Man. Yet again. Yeah, there's some dorps here. Ultron pack. And ton of gun pools. A ton of gun pools. A bunch of Power Rangers back there. Got some Five Nights at Freddy's. Red Sonya. Ripley. I haven't seen Ripley in a while. Miguel from Toko. Another Ripley, huh? Oh. Uh, yeah, I can't see anything else right there. They got the Kylos in. Bandicoot exclusive. Uh, let's see. Kevin Durant. Yannis uh, Adekumbo. Some more Ripley's. Man, yeah, they don't really have much here, pop boys either. Some rays here. Every time I see these all blacks, I think it's Jaina, and then it's not. <laughs> Oh, that's that four pack up there. Oh. Oh, I guess I'll look at the pops. Let's see, man. I got Isaiah again. Carl Anthony Towns. Yep. Aladdin. So Warriors Falls. I will get you eventually. I just want him to be a Walmart or a Target for us. Get him for $8.99. Wait a little bit. Just wait a little bit. Patience. Alright? Every time I look at that Captain America, man. And that Captain Marvel, I mean. Jeez. Hey, oh, Mr. Mr. Goldberg. Hey, Chris. There we go. Yeah, Braun Strowman back there. Man. Man. Well, they do actually have Namor, once again. You know, but he sold out on Amazon, so. And Nikia. And oh my god. <laughs> Freaking fine. Do they have, that's all they have? Oh, somebody's hiding something back here. What is this? Is this another one? Oh, no, it's a kill. They hit a Killmonger, but didn't hide the Iron Man? 
Are you kidding me? Freaking finally. Man. <laughs> and though I hate getting it at GameStop because it's $22.99, but Fireman, this is a must have. Yes, yes. End of flashback. Boy, yeah, what a journey, huh? So, took a while, took about a week, but uh, we finally got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So, uh, but I'm going to start off, I'm not going to hit this just yet. I'm going to start off with uh, what I got, or what I was able to get at Tate's on that Wednesday. So, uh, as you know, Sean Gordon Murphy, Batman White Knight. Only reason I walk into a comic book store nowadays, well, besides pops and toys and graphic novels and stuff like that, but <laughs> Sean Gordon Murphy, number four, eight issue miniseries for Batman White Knight. They added an extra issue. Super excited about that. Love it. Can't wait. I always grab both because, I mean, it's Sean Gordon Murphy's art. What do you want me to do? It's amazing. So I got to grab both, right? If you're, uh, if you're not in the comics and you just want to, like, I don't know, just read a really cool Batman story. Like I said, this is eight issues. It's on number four. Here it is. Super simple. Super sweet. You know, nice story. Awesome story. Awesome writer. Awesome art. He does the writing and the art, Sean Gordon Murphy. I've explained this, this about him enough. <laughs> he didn't need any plugs from me, but I just, I, I adore his work so much. So uh, anytime I get an opportunity, I'm going to shout it out. And then I also grabbed a comic that I had, uh, that I have digitally on Comixology but I didn't have physically and just something I really wanted. One of my favorite, favorite stories, as you saw, Black Panther, the deadliest of the species. This is one, as you can see, yeah, that's not a dude. <laughs> no, that is Shuri, uh, Black Panther's sister. A uh, little sneak pre preview in the back there. As you can see, that is uh, Dark Doom, my favorite Marvel villain. Uh, you can argue favorite villain ever. Um, and then, uh, Black Panther, the one you uh, know and love. So, uh, yeah. So, clearly something happens here for Shiri to be Black Panther. It's a hell of a read. It's a hell of a story. I love it. Um, we were getting Shiri as a uh, Marvel Legends figure, which I am super, super excited about because of this story. And I love this story. I didn't think we'd ever be getting a Shiri figure. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, this is it's six issues. You know what I mean? I think she had... Ultimately, she had a 12-issue run of being Black Panther, and this first six of them is amazing. The second six, not so great, but this first six, just as a story itself, an arc on its own, amazing, amazing. I'd highly recommend this. Again, not necessary, get you know, leading up to Black Panther, but uh, if you just want to learn a bit more about the lore, and actually, it could be necessary. It does, it does dive in a bit to what it takes to be the Black Panther. Not T'Challa's journey, but Shuri's journey. But you get the same essence of what it means and what it and what it takes to become the Black Panther within this story. So I actually I would recommend it as a, as reading leading up to the uh, to the Black Panther movie. So, um, but yeah, this is finally great to have this one physically. Like I said, I've had it uh, I have it digitally um, on Comicsology. So to have it in my hand, it's always a great feeling. You always want that classic comic book feeling to just have it in your hand and flip through. It's just always it's always so cool. So. Uh, I don't, long time coming. I don't know what I was waiting for, um, but I'm glad I was able to find it. I wish they had a hardcover of it. They only made a paperback, but uh, you know, hey, yeah, Black Panther, the deadliest species, Shiri. Oh boy, I can't wait to get that Marvel Legends two pack. And now for the reason why we're all here and why this whole hunt was made, this whole video was made, the uh, Invincible Iron Man. Oh man, I. This was the figure. This was the figure. This new wave came out, and this was it. This was one. That I was like, that's the one I'm gonna need. I need that ASAP. The rest I'll be able to get. Obviously, certain ones being two per pack. Eric Killmonger, Black Panther. I'll get those. Not too worried about those. But Iron Man, I need that ASAP. <laughs> Especially because I've, I've uh, read the comic following this with Brian Michael Bendis. I think I talked about him before. Him moving over to DC um, now. But uh, he wrote uh, the Invincible Iron Man story and what entails in this suit i'll get into that a little more but um but before that i uh i made a claim that this would be the deadpool of this wave some people took some issue with that uh even in the comments somebody was said you are wrong they were telling me how the namor and the 
Black Bolt are ones that are more deserving of that title that I affectionately call the Deadpool of this wave. Um, because of what they saw on Amazon, I guess on Amazon, Amazon apparently can't get rid of the Iron Man figures, but Namor and Black Bolt are sold out. I mean, again, listen. My name's Toy Hunter, <laughs> okay? I hunt in the wild. I don't hunt online unless it's something I have not been able to find. I will make sure I put in the effort to go out and find it first before I jump online. So I get what the statistics are online. Cool. Granted, what I'm talking about and what I'm ever talking what I'm ever talking about is what we're finding out in the wild at these retail stores. Right? So I put together a little list just to cobble a little something together since I was, you know, so wrong. Uh, granted, this is all anecdotal. This is just my area. But uh, just wanted to show the breakdown, the ratio of Iron Man's in the wild, right? So, and for a little bit more context, they haven't reached Walmarts in my area and they haven't reached Targets in my area. They've only been at Walgreens and GameStops, right? So, just a little bit more context to give you some qualifiers to this list that I'm about to read to you, right? So, and over about the span of a week and looking for these uh, figures at Walgreens and at GameStops, I was able to find eight Black Panthers, seven Eric Killmongers, six Namors, say that again, six Namors. So here's my advice for you. If you're having trouble finding Namor and he is sold out on Amazon, head to your local Walgreens. Pretty sure you can find a Namor. So there's that. For Nikias, so Black Bolt, which was one he did mention, and he was correct on that, because I only found two Black Bolts on my week of hunting, right? So Black Bolt's pretty, pretty scarce, but uh, but yeah, there's one, you know, billionaire genius, playboy philanthropist that's missing on this list that I haven't been able to find. Oh yeah, the Invincible Iron Man. So on my week of hunting, in my area, only at Walgreens and GameStops. I found one Iron Man, <laughs> one, this one right here. So, you know, cool, fantastic. You know, you, you uh, they can't sell them at Amazon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Awesome. Um, and Namor and Black Bolt are sold out. Again, my advice, I'd say head to your local Walgreens and GameStops, pick you up a Namor or Black Bolt, just go in the wild. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't hunt online only if it's so hard to find that I then will then go online but at first i'm about to thrill of the hunt man that's what i do that's what i'm about that's what this channel is about and that's why i shaped the video kind of in this way leading up to this because like that feeling that hunting store at the store at the store at the store the disappointment feeling defeated and then to finally come across that figure you've been searching for boy I, to me, nothing beats that feeling. Nothing beats that feeling. And so I love having that feeling. Um, and shout out to a lot of people. It was a ton of people. A lot of people were, uh, were finding it in other areas and wanting to uh, send it to me and ship it to me. But I, I told I told everyone, like, look, guys, it just came out on the first. <laughs> you know what I mean? They haven't hit Target or Walmart in my area. I will eventually find it. I want to find it. You know what I mean? I want to find it. If I, if I ever happen to come across the point where I can't find it, trust me, I really appreciate the help. I will definitely appreciate the help then. And by all means, you know, help me out. But for me personally, I will always, always, always make that effort first in the wild to try and find what I'm trying to find. With that being said, and that out the way, let's go ahead and open up this Invincible Iron Man. So here we are. Oh my God, look at him. And if you can see in the back, the picture is uh, straight from the comics, man. They nailed it. They nailed this figure. Oh, my God. First first thing that stands out to me, the paint job. The, the vibrance on this red is great, man. And the gold and the detail, you know, within the darker colors within the suit, within the arm. Nice mix of the red, the golds, and the silvers. I'm loving that head, loving that head sculpt right there. It looks super, super cool, man. They, they nailed this. One thing that's so special about this figure, why I was really wanting him, um, 
reading this comic again, as I think I mentioned earlier, um, Brian Michael Bendis is the one who wrote this comic. David Marquez on the artwork. Whew, boy, David Marquez. Damn, you can draw. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but uh, but yeah, David David Marquez on the artwork, just amazing. This figure here, this this suit actually for um, for Tony is the an amalgamation of every single suit he's ever made, made into one. It can change color depending on the mission. It can change shape. This can turn into a Hulkbuster if he needs it to. It's um, he finally, you know, him his scientific brain of his. He's always trying to top what he's done prior, right? So he finally, with this suit, had done it and made, you know, the final, the ultimate suit, you know, so far. Obviously, you know, he'll probably top himself again because that's what, you know, geniuses do. But for now, at this point, this is this is the ultimate suit. So he doesn't need any more marks anymore because every single mark is within this suit and it can adapt with whatever the environment or whatever the situation is. So that's what makes this suit so freaking cool, right? And I love that they added this piece. Kind of, it's a small representation of it, right? But uh, but you know, it, it can it can just you know turn into a gun or a weapon whenever you need it, you know. And I love that it's not fully attached. You know what I mean? If you need it, you can throw it on. If you don't want to, you can also take it off. You know what I mean? The other good thing is if you've been collecting Marvel Legends and you have the the Miles Morales, the Miss Marvel, the Sam uh, Sam Alexander Nova, and the Sam Wilson Captain America, and the uh, Vision, the, the all new, all different version of Vision, that would complete your all new, all different Avengers lineup. And so this was the final piece to that because all of those figures have been out. I'm still waiting on that two pack. I have the three. I have the kids. Oh, and Jane Foster Thor. I almost forgot about Jane Foster Thor. So if you have all all of those figures, and then so the last one you were waiting on to, to complete that team, if you know if you're into team building with the with your characters, was this Invincible Iron Man, and to finally get them as well was was really 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 great. Um, so yeah, so that was one thing. That's you know those are a couple of reasons why I really 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 wanted this figure. But uh, but yeah, man, this figure this figure is super nice. I cannot cannot wait to start posing them. So boy boy oh boy what a hunt uh what a week <laughs> trying to find this uh this iron man um yeah i'm gonna go and uh read some comic books and uh maybe read this invincible iron man story again and yeah yeah thanks for thanks for coming on the journey with me uh i love you guys thanks for all the support thanks for watching like comment share subscribe and follow for more content go to toyhunter.com the mini face podcast coming soon I'm Tor Hunter. See you on the hunt. Listen.